I'm unloading everything. I'm unloading everything. And that is the theme of this video. Over the years, things accumulate and it gets to become overwhelming, seriously overwhelming. I never show you behind the scenes, but I'm gonna show you this one. Ready to see what is behind the curtain. Oh, yes, my videos have been sucking lately. I know. I'm reading your comments loud and clear. I know some things have changed since I first started this channel. And in today's video, I'm going to go through what is going on behind the scenes at Flying Wheels. Because I'm telling you what, in the car business, we call something that's getting a little bit older an aged unit. And I am an aged unit. And with age comes wisdom, right? I've learned a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes. I've grown tremendously. I've done incredibly well in my lifetime. And lately I've really done some reflection and learned a lot about myself. And in today's video, I'm going to explain a lot of the things that's happening. Like what's up? We already talked about the clunkers, right? I own a car dealership. I make YouTube videos. We now have sponsors that help sponsor and support us through our videos. And I have some commercial properties and I have a family. And to be quite honest with you, I think this video is going to be very, very therapeutic. And I'm going to go through a lot of the things that I've learned over the years and the mistakes that I've made, as well as the things that have helped me move along and keep me motivated. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. You guys are gonna join me behind the scenes today. Let's get going. So I made a video a few weeks ago about clunkers, right? I own several clunkers because I got into like the idea of being a YouTuber allows me to buy this nonsense because I can make a video about it and justify spending too much money on something silly because the YouTube video pays for itself. Which although a 95 Mercury Cougar, which is for sale, is cool with 59,000 miles and would be a fun project, in my mind, that's not who I am and that's not what Flying Wheels is. A 95 Buick Riviera with 91,000 miles, that supercharged six cylinder. In my head, that's a cool car, but I'm buying with my heart, not what sells. I've made these videos about the hoopties before. And then as it goes on, you saw this car that we purchased for the Mecham auction in Florida that didn't sell and I ended up shipping it back home and I haven't touched it since that day. I've made videos about Audis and how much I love and hate Audis. I bought that with my heart. I bought that for a video, but ultimately this is why I started flying wheels. And recently as I was clearing out some things at home and I'll get into why I'm clearing things out at home in a little bit, I found a letter in my office way at the very bottom of everything that was basically like a set of goals for 10 years. And I've far surpassed that. And it was basically, I don't want to be selling Ford Tauruses forever. I want like nice clean trucks and SUVs, get rid of that Cayenne, Jeep Wranglers, newer, like low miles cars, things that are fun. When I started this car dealership, I started in Florida and I just said the word fun. I was buying things that were fun, that made me very, very happy because why are we living this world if we can't be happy? Why am I living this life if I can't try to fulfill my dreams? Well, in New Hampshire, it's all about SUVs and trucks. When I was in Florida, it was about convertibles and toys and things that you can use all year long. I did a Ferrari series, flipping $400 to a Ferrari, which was tremendous. I learned a lot, you learned a lot. Ultimately, I live in New Hampshire and it's useless to own a Ferrari for nine months out of the year and then add the potholes and everything. Doesn't make any sense. Wrong place, wrong demographic, doesn't work. You know what sells? Hyundai, Ionix, clearly not Kia because that car is a year old now. Snowplow trucks, which is really bumming me out. But then add to New Hampshire, what happens in New Hampshire is salt and snow. And that brings me to this Escalade that has a rusty frame. It's like, I mean, anybody that's gonna buy it, I have to tell them it has a rotted frame. And honestly, it's not something that I wanna sell. So it just sits here, just like the Cougar and the Riviera and the Audi and the Land Rover and anything else that I don't wanna sell and put my name on it, it ends up just sitting here. And that's for sale too. It's very contradictory of what I just said. I just realized wow. that. Um, I'm trying to clear everything out. So this Impala SS with a 5.3 liter V8, bumper needs to be painted. It's rotted right here, has 190,000 miles. Like the idea of the car is cool, 
but it, that's not what sells and I don't want to sell it. So it sits. The reason I just said I'm selling everything is because we are. We're just like, I'm unloading everything. I'm unloading everything. And that is the theme of this video and what's happening behind the scenes and what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Over the years, I've changed my frame of mind and I talked about, I want to do what makes me happy. And at the moment, I thought a 95 Cougar would make me happy or a supercharged Buick Riviera would make me happy, or a Ferrari would make me happy. And that's getting into the theme of this episode. I was buying things with my heart for that like quick dopamine rush to make me happy. And honestly, stuff isn't what makes you happy ultimately. Yeah, my Goldwings, I enjoy it. I had a blast driving it with my son in South Dakota. I haven't used this thing since that day. Coming in here, G37S, like the project idea of it, it's fun, it makes me happy, but not truly, truly happy. And I think I was chasing this high of buying things, Eagle Talons and just like stuff, stuff is the key word that you don't really need. Now going into here, over the years, things accumulate and it gets to become overwhelming, seriously overwhelming. I never show you behind the scenes, but I'm gonna show you this one. So over the years, things compile and like you just start to accumulate stuff. And just my eyes woke one day, my eyes opened one day and I awoke to, ready to see what is behind the curtain. I don't know that I've ever shown anybody this my surplus storage room. This is a 1973 Ford Mustang Mach 1 Cobra Jet in a four speed, 351 Cobra Jet, super rare car. I stopped that project years ago and it has become an ornament for us to store things on. And then I accumulated like a set of wheels. I can't get rid of these wheels. I'll use them on something one day. And then like a Corvette, Targa roof and Jeep Wrangler wheels and Chevy Avalanche wheels and like all of these sets of wheels I'll use on a car at some point and then speaker stuff and then like these are boxes for a Nissan Titan and an intake for an LS1 5.7 liter Corvette engine and then like roof racks and bumpers for a Cobra Mustang all of these things have like how many tow hitches do you need spoilers like all of these things have just accumulated trailblazer ss seats i don't need any of these things and there's value in all of them so i can't throw them away but there are a lot of things that can be thrown away like hubcaps and just so much nonsense and over time as things have accumulated I said, we can't throw that away. We can resell it, but then we don't resell it and it sits in this room and like could be a full garage, like an extra bay, which is what it was when we first started this place. And like, yeah, we've done nice things. We've made our office better and we've sided and roofed and paved and done some cool things and grown the business. But over time, things have accumulated. The business has grown and I've become overwhelmed and I'm spread way, way too thin. So I can't run the dealership as efficient as it should. And I'm relying on Lauren to do it, and she is, but she's got to chill, she's still learning. And I'm relying on Dave to be the mechanic I need him to be, and he's a good portion of it, and, and we can extend stuff out if he gets too busy or too overwhelmed, and we have a detail and all is good. And then we extend it out to YouTube, and YouTube is literally a full-time job. So to make videos and run the dealership is really, really, it's a lot of work. I work here every day till six, pick up my kids, or till five, then I pick up my kids, spend time with them, make dinner or have dinner with them, do the whole bedtime routine, and then after that, I go back to work and I make YouTube videos. And then add the promos. These promos, like when you support the companies that support us, you're supporting me. So those people help support us and keep the doors open. So if we have a slow month not selling cars, I'm supported by our sponsors. So thank you to all of them. And when you support those people, you're actually supporting us. I've made some hard decisions lately and uh, I'm gonna cut over to my house where I tell you what those hard decisions are going to be. Uh, and they weren't easy. And there's gonna be a lot of changes at Flying Wheels. So let's clip over to my home. A few moments later. All right, so I'm ready to reveal what's happening. You'll see this. This is just stuff, stuff. And my house isn't even emptied. We've just accumulated so much stuff over the years. It's just been overwhelming and it makes me not happy. And it's not just me, like stuff, four wheelers and trailers and cars. And I'm really gonna reveal myself because we have all accumulated a lot of things over the years. And as I watch my son, 
over there, bad kick, playing soccer on his three soccer nets. This news makes me sad. My skyline has got to go. All right. If someone's interested in my skyline, serious offers, I'm ready to let them. I'm ready. To, I'm ready to let them go. My Viper, not so sure. My bicycles, not so sure. But I've started to gut my garage, take things off the walls, throw everything out. The Talon over there, serious offers. I'm going to put that on the website. That's going to get going. I have six jet skis back there and a boat. Four-wheeler. We're selling. I'm selling. We're moving south. And it's terrifying for me. Um, we've just, like, although it looks happy on camera, this is probably my therapy session, although it looks happy on camera and everything's gold, it is. It's amazing, blessed. Like, I have a dog and a green grass. Everything's just blessed. And as I look at this stuff, it's getting real. We're going south. I despise doing this job up north where it's cold all the time and I have to plow snow. And like if it snows, I take two days pushing snow around, which like I could be sitting on a couch accomplishing the same amount of stuff because nobody's coming out in a snowstorm and it's freezing bitter cold. If you saw my blizzard in April video two weeks ago, it's ridiculous. And it rains, like it's nice right now, but it has rained every day since that blizzard up until yesterday. And it's exhausting and bitter freezing hands. I probably, crying wheels, I get you guys say crying wheels. It's exhausting. So now it's time to do what I do at my shop, but do it here. We're gonna bring my grass back to life. I did my shutters already. I trimmed out everything white. I did my walkway yesterday. So when we buy a car, we fix it, we clean it, we sell it. This house has accumulated a lot of things over the years. So we're gonna fix it, clean it, sell it. I'm gonna start with my lawn. Thanks to Sunday Lawn Care, check this out. We're gonna be selling our house. I'm going through it like we mulched the yard. I've actually seeded where my son played soccer and ruined the grass, which is a perfect segue into today's video. I used to have like the best grass. Pretty quickly, my grass started becoming patchy and growing in weeds and stuff, which is a little disappointing. So I've already thatched my lawn. I've already gone through it, pulled up all the old dead stuff. I have one more thing that I'm looking forward to doing. The grass is brown and whatever color you wanna call that, but it's starting to green. I have this product. Sunday Lawn and Garden Nutrients. And I'm gonna put it on my lawn. I'm actually really excited to use it. Is Sunday requested a core sample? So they sent me out a toolkit. This right here, I can go into my yard, take a stool sample or a core sample, and I just keep going down like this. And then I pull it out with a twisting motion and I have a core sample. So now they know what my soil looks like, what nutrients it needs. And I'll go all over the lawn in six different places. I take this and I insert it in the bag. They know what nutrients my lawn needs specifically. This is my kit, Pet Lawn Bear Repair. They gave me Mighty Green Nitrogen Lush Growth. They gave me Mosquito Delito and Nix Ticks. So tick control, mosquito control, dog repair kits, and then iron and fertilizer. I'll just sprinkle some of this over all the repaired areas that I need to put the dog stuff on that I need to cover the dead dog spots. And this is a combination of mulch, seed, and fertilizer. And now's the easy part. I just screw the attachment into the bag, screw the hose onto the attachment. Now it should take about 15 minutes to apply it to my lawn. One bag covers about 5,000 square feet. So now we have this area to cover and we still have another bag left. A few minutes later. So that's it, about 45 minutes later, I put down two bags of Iron Boost, two bags of fertilizer, and I also put down the dog repair so it's patched all over the lawn. I should see results within a week. One week later. Did this a week ago, it actually snowed. It's been raining every day. I'm already seeing a lot of green. So Sunday lawn taking care of my stuff. There's actually a link in my description if you wanna try it for yourself. You can go to www.getsunday.com forward slash wheels and use code wheels25 to get 25% off your first lawn care plan. This is a week and a half later, so you'll see how green it is. Granted, it rains every damn day, but this is a week and a half later. I wanna show you like what happens just over time. And the reason I'm terrified is because it's, we established my entire life here, my business, everything has been established here. And we've grown and we've created a family here. But again, we've accumulated so much stuff. And I'm gonna give you an insight into my house, which I don't think I do regularly. And although I'm terrified, I've done it once, we can do it again. So when I started, I learned, right? You can't lose your experience. 
So we already know what, I already have the knowledge to do it again. So it's terrifying to think that I'm gonna start over, but we already know what we're doing. I already know how to do it. So I just repeat the process, which is what's great about experience. And the things that I teach you on these videos are things that I've learned, the experience that I've had that I like sharing with you guys. So this is all clothes being donated. All of these things are being donated and it keeps going from here, all clothes being donated. It's wild. The things we have accumulated, toys for 14 years, it's just honestly kind of gross. And just to talk about the things I've accumulated over the years, I have accumulated a few things. I, I like my toys from my childhood. I don't know why, but if any of you from the 90s tell me what toy, so stupid that I have a toy collection. I have a lot of them. Tell me what toy you remember. Number one, I have a Fast Tracks in yellow and red. Yes, both still functioning. I have Veriflex rollerblades. Now they're brand new, still in the bag, with a receipt from Leech Mayer for $79.97 dated back to 1991. I think that's interesting. That's why I like that, it's interesting. I have a Typhoon to go with my Fast Tracks. I also have a Spider-Man phone, an X-Men phone. I have Starscream from Transformers. I have the Wheaties box from, is who's that? Is that Manny Ramirez? Who is that right there? That's from when the Red Sox won their first World Series in 2004. Spider-Man, I have the original Adam West Batmobile. Behind here is one of my favorites. That is a Super Soaker 100, still new inbox, NIB. I have a Ken Griffey Jr starting lineup. I have a Nolan Ryan starting lineup. I have a Frank Thomas starting lineup, Bo Jackson starting lineup, and then, you know, just some random awards. This is actually from the movie Semi Pro. So, I can blame everybody for collecting things. This is my little collection right here. This, my bicycles, and my cars. And sadly, I think I have to get rid of all this stuff. It's just, you know, I get bored and then I like tinker on eBay or something. I'm like, I love that, I want it. Or just whatever. Look, it's like Ken and Barbie. So I am a culprit of accumulating things as well. So I read the comments and some of them hurt and I get it. I mean, I, I'm like not fully committed and I wanna be committed more and I'm just spread too thin and unfortunately, like things sacrifice, flying wheels is sacrificed and I'm gonna get rid of a lot of the junk. And so when you see these videos of the Land Rover, of the Buick, of like all these junky cars. This is a series I'm trying to work my way out of. We already sold the Celica. I'm gonna get rid of everything. So that's what's going on right now. Sometimes we have a Ferrari, sometimes we have a Corvette, sometimes we have clunkers, and that's what we're getting through right now is getting through the clunkers so we can buy better quality vehicles and get back to the basics to make better videos. Now, I told you I read your comments and some of them hurt. Like the one from No Neck 3099 that says, looks like the comments saved me from wasting my time. Dude, I'm sorry, man. I I'm doing my best. This is a lot of work. I'm gonna be up till midnight tonight making these videos. Not my kind of video. I don't come here for supercars or just junk like this. I guess he can't please everybody. So what do you, you come here for the middle of the road cars? All right, probably. Do right by, not cool to watch and cringe to see them sitting on your lot. Back to basics, my friend. I'm working on it. You just, just suffer through this stuff with me, please. Craig, you seem to have lost the excitement or live for YouTube episodes, which is major disappointment, just an observation. It's a lot of work and to be honest with you, like I did lose a lot of the excitement. The Prelude got me really excited. The 97 Eagle Talon got me really excited. The Corvette, the Cobras, the Ferrari got me really excited. The Skyline, never really. So yeah, I'm contradicting what I say in these videos. I enjoy cars. I enjoy bikes. I enjoy things. And it's a blessing that I get to do that for work. But when I buy the projects that I think are cool, that's not a joy for me. Food Peddler Official said, poor little whiny rich dudes flexing by destroying a vehicle. Done watching your stuff. Probably I'm a whiny, I'm not rich, but I'm, probably I'm a whiny white dude or whatever he wrote here. Yeah. Andrew Wass, what happened to this channel, Craig? We like the content that you used to put out. Buy a car, fix a car, sell a car. I just did that with the Lexus. I do that stuff too. So you see the whole journey. It's all, not all blessings. Some, some are good, some are bad. Vianc, 21, this is a worse video you made. Don't do just for views that can kill your channel. This is just an affiliate marketing video. That's in reference to the LS400 video. That was a 30 minute video on how to fix rock chips. I like, yeah, they helped me out with the video. They sponsored the video, but their product worked. I wanted to show it off to people and I love showing you guys products that work. I have so much stuff that I don't even show you and that people just send me nonsense and junk. I don't even use it. I throw it away or I give it away to somebody. If I use it and like it, I talk about it in my videos. That's 20 minutes I can't get back. Complete something. Twan 6061. Sorry, buddy. 
Sorry. X Rock 32 people like winners, Craig. Make some videos where you win and win big. Be a good deal all around. That was my whole Ferrari series, and I get that's why you liked me. So, yeah, I read your comments. I'm trying to do better. I promise, like, I know what's going on. I need you to suffer through these junks with me because it's, like, five years of junks that I've accumulated. I'm getting rid of all of them. So anything you see in my videos, reach out to me on my website. They're probably all for sale if there's something you want. But I pulled in the driveway today, and again, my son's playing soccer out back, and... Like I grew green grass and I planted these bushes and I painted those shutters and I hand built the pool in my backyard during COVID and the deck is done by me. And even there's a Ninja Warrior gym in the back that I created when I was on Ninja Warrior with my family three times. It's sad and it's scary. And we have land, lots of it that the kids can play on their dirt bikes with. And as I'm saying it, that's more stuff. Things we don't need though. We don't need the dirt bikes. We don't need everything and I think a little bit of struggle is a good thing. So providing the kids with too many things, although they're great people and good students and just caring, considerate people, they know zero struggle. So changing it up a little bit, I think may be a good thing and we're gonna try it out and see if it works and maybe it'll bring us closer as a family and give us new experiences to share and really experience a new life somewhere else. We've done it long enough here We've created some good people, but that's why these videos have been a little stale. I've been traveling back and forth more to try to figure out what we're doing, where we're going, what I need to be doing to be able to survive and support my family still. And it's distracted me from the videos and it's because I'm so spread thin. I don't have a lot. I have too many things and not enough of me that I can't focus on everything. So I wanna consolidate it all down and figure out what it is that I wanna do and what I want to do is make better content for you based around the things that make me happy. And the car dealership's fun and it's successful, but I haven't been in it as much as I would like to be. And it's really, really time consuming. So I'm hoping in Florida, I can make better videos based around cars for you. And I can focus on doing one to two at a time to myself, for myself from start to finish. Like if you've seen all the junk cars that I have, they've just been compiled and put together and they sit. But if I have more time to focus on one car at a time, I can probably make better content for you instead of just saying, oh, I got to this far, I gotta stop, move on, next car, let it sit. Or sell it, still needing things, I don't want that. Maybe I'll start a new car dealership in Florida, a small one, we'll start small and see how it goes. Maybe I'll be able to make better content that way. I know for sure I can buy more fun cars to enjoy in the sun versus trucks and SUVs that I'm gonna scrape windshields and bust my knuckles in the cold doing. I don't know what we're gonna do. So anyway, that's it. It's probably a venting session. Yeah, you can call me crying wheels like you do in your comment section and you can talk about how my content maybe has gone down a little bit, but I wanna bring it back to the roots. And for everybody that has always supported me, I just wanna say thank you because there's so many of you. So the channel's grown to be just, just this tremendous thing that turns into a therapy session. My grandfather, my father, my mother, they're all teachers and they enjoy educating. And this is my outlet to be able to educate you guys on like what I've learned, the mistakes I've made, how I've done good, how I've done bad, what I would improve. And now at this point, wisdom. It's not all about those little like instant gratification, happiness things. It's about living in the moment, spending more time with my family, being present which I'm not all the time because I'm overextended at work. So hopefully in the next adventure, and if you saw me sell my lake house, that became a liability. It became more work for me. And although it made me happy, it was more work that stretched me out even farther. So we sold that house. And I said at the end, we will see what the next adventure is. And the next adventure I think is gonna be us starting over from zero down in Florida. So bear with me. We have a bunch of stuff in New Hampshire to accomplish. We have a lot going on, a lot of things we have to get rid of. And then we'll see if we can start our next chapter of life in another part of this country. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Every one of you that has supported me in this channel, really appreciate you sticking by my side. And I hope you continue to do so because I'm gonna to try to put out the best content that I can and focus on what you guys want. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Adios.